Three people have been charged with murdering an 85-year-old grandmother from Belleville. Authorities say she was targeted as she left a weekly game of bingo. News Channel 5's Ann Rubin has the latest on this case. Ann? Authorities say Wednesday night, Yoko Cullen was carjacked in the parking lot of that bingo hall. They believe the suspects later set fire to her car in an attempt to cover up their crime. She's honestly one of the most amazing women that, that I've ever known. And uh, she was, is the backbone of this family. Her family was frantic. 85-year-old Yoko Cullen had been missing for days. Then Sunday, their worst fears were confirmed. Authorities arrested three people, Daquan Barnes, Latasha Cunningham, and Demarcus Barnes, charging them with her murder. Crime of opportunity. Authorities believe it began here, bingo night at the Fireman's Hall in Collinsville. They say Cullen was a regular, so were the suspects. Investigators think they were lying in wait as she left. She was uh, targeted leaving the parking lot. She was, for lack of a better term, carjacked, taken to East St. Louis where she was murdered. According to court documents, Cullen was locked in the trunk of her Mazda. It was then set on fire, causing her death. The burned out car was later found down this secluded street. We didn't hesitate once we found out what we had. The major K squad was activated, making all three arrests within hours. They still aren't discussing motive, but think Cullen was chosen at random, just another woman leaving Wednesday night bingo. We do homicides frequently, and, uh, but this one was tough. Bond has been set at $3 million for each of the three suspects. All right, Glenn, thank you. A man pleads guilty in the 2011 murder of a Belleville grandmother. The Fox News' Kim Hudson has more from the St. Clair County Courthouse in Belleville this morning. Good morning to you, Kim. Good morning, Kevin and Margie. Three people have been charged with this crime. The youngest of the three entered his guilty plea Tuesday. The Belleville News Democrat is reporting that 21-year-old Daquan Barnes pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and helping rob and kill 85-year-old Yoko Cullen in May of 2011. Now, according to the BND, Yoko was leaving a bingo game in Collinsville when she was attacked by Daquan Barnes, his uncle 30-year-old Demarcus Barnes, and a friend 39-year-old Latasha Cunningham. Daquan reportedly admitted to helping force Cullen into the trunk of her car, beating her with tire irons to force the victim to reveal the pin code to her ATM card, buying gasoline at an East St. Louis gas station before then setting Cullen's car on fire with her inside. The medical examiner concluded that she was alive when the fire started. The BND also reports that St. Clair County State's Attorney Brendan Kelly will likely ask for a 60-year prison sentence. Otherwise, Daquan will be facing a natural life sentence because of the victim's age. Now, another page in the story is that Daquan Barnes agreed not to raise two issues if he appealed his case. The first was the involvement of former Circuit Judge Mike Cook. The second was the involvement of former East St. Louis Police Detective Orlando Ward. Both are facing federal drug charges at this time. Cook presided over Daquan's fitness hearing. Ward was the lead detective on this case. Now, his uncle Demarcus has been ruled mentally unfit to stand trial for now, while Cunningham's case is still pending. Live in Belleville, Kim Hudson, Fox 2 News. Metro East judge convicted a woman today in the murder of an 85-year-old Belleville woman. The judge found Latasha Cunningham guilty of murder in the death of Yoko Cullen. Cullen was burned alive in her car's trunk after being robbed of her bingo winnings. Cullen was leaving the Fireman's Hall in Collinsville when Cunningham and two others carjacked and robbed her. They beat her with a tire iron until she gave up her ATM pin number before putting her in the trunk and setting the car on fire. 21-year-old Daquan Barnes pleaded guilty in the murder last month. His uncle, 30-year-old Demarcus Barnes, has been found mentally unfit to stand trial. Cunningham faces 20 to 60 years in prison. Her sentencing date is November 25th. And a Belleville woman gets 60 years in prison without parole for the kidnapping and murder of a grandmother. Latasha Cunningham is one of three people charged with the murder of 85-year-old Yoko Cullen in May of 2011. The victim's remains were found in the trunk of her burned car two days after she was kidnapped while leaving a bingo game. She was forced into her truck and beaten with a tire iron. Last month, Daquan Barnes was sentenced to 60 years for his role in the crime. The third suspect was found mentally unfit to stand trial. She was the centerpiece of her family here. She was the centerpiece of her friends. 
And um, I know that you said that she had gone through a lot in Japan as a, as a child. She became the leader of that family at 12, and her her dad died. And I know it was just you just tell me a little bit about you know she was just very very important. If you her talk behind about. with six children, so she knew that being the oldest, whether she was female or not, that she would have to step up to help her raise the children, her five younger brothers, who we miss dearly in Japan. No. We were really happy that we got the maximum sentence. Um, we would have wanted more, but for the maximum sentence, we got it.